So this is the tapping arpeggios lesson, and uh, just another one of those over-the-top licks that uh, I just want to, you know, have some other people learn. Uh, and basically, uh, I'm working between. Uh, very, this is very similar to the uh, what do they call the jack of trades lick that I came up with, um, in that I'm playing in between minor and diminished seven passes. And I tried to change up the, the minor licks particularly um, as I was going along so that it wasn't the same thing over and over again. And the idea behind this is completely legato minus a couple of sweeping parts here. But uh, basically I'm starting off here uh, tapping the 12th fret from out of nowhere, pulling off to the 8th fret, and then pulling off again to the 5th fret. So pulling off to the fifth and so and then here's a little bit of a string skipping part where I go down to the G string and hammer on with my pinky to the ninth fret and then tap the 14th fret and pull that off and then pulling off to the fifth fret over here on the G string and then hammering on the 7th fret, the natural A of the D string. And here we switch to a diminished 7th pass. And here I'm, t I'm starting on the B string, 12th fret, pulling off to the 9th fret, and then pulling off to the 6th fret. Like that. And then here hammering on the 7th fret of the G string. Like that. And then tapping the 10th fret. And then here I'm hammering on with my pinky the 9th fret, tapping the 12th fret, pulling off. And pulling off to the 6th fret of the D string. And here is probably one of the more trickier passes. Starting on the 7th fret of the D string, I'm going 7, then to the G string, uh, 5, 9. And then I tap the 14th fret and pull off to the 9th fret again. And then using my ring, uh, middle finger here, I slide. It's kind of like a ghost slide. And then I slide all the way up to the 14th fret with that. And then here I hold the 14th fret, tap the 17th fret of the G string, and pull off. And then hammer on to the 13th fret with my index finger here. And then tap the 17th fret of the B string, pull off to the 13th fret, and then hammer on to the 14th fret again and then here's another diminished 7th pass starting at the 13th fret I'm tapping the 13th fret pulling off to the 10th fret and then pulling off to the 7th then hammering on a B string the 9th fret tapping the 12th fret and pulling off and then And then hammering onto the 10th fret, tapping the 13th fret, pulling off, and pulling off to the 7th fret again, like that. And then here's the last part and the most difficult, and this one requires a little bit of sweeping at the very end, and well at the beginning of that end, and you start here, the 10th fret of the D string, 9th fret of the G string, 10th fret of the B string, and then 8 uh, on the, the high E, hammer on to the 12. So. And then here it's a tapped slide, tapped legato slide. You tap the 17th fret and then slide up to the 20th fret. And then come back to the 17th fret. So 17, 20, 17. And then pull off to the 12th fret. Pull off to the 8th fret, 12th fret, hammer on, 
8th fret pull off and then hammer on to the uh, to the 10th fret of the B string which ends on an A and so basically slowly the lick would basically sound like this so that has that kind of feel to it Without all the gain, it's a little bit more difficult, but... Let's do it again. I'm having a little trouble with cleanliness, but get the gist of it.